Hello, Boris Prilusky here. For the last 36 years, I'm practicing medical and sports massage as it was proposed by Russian physician Anatoly Shcherbak. During the last 40 years, this method was additionally widely researched and many additional protocols was uh, proposed. Uh, the massive utilization of, during all these decades proving that this method is very effective in treatments of sports-related injuries, for stress management, uh, rehabilitation from overtrainings, and uh, more. Throughout my career, I was and presently am involved in clinical practice, teaching and research activities. Since my arrival uh, to the United States of America 16 years ago, I have been part of physical rehabilitation departments in different medical groups. All these years, I was staggered witnessing the disproportional complication caused by sports injuries and the need for complicated reconstructive surgeries in different regions, including spinal surgeries. The term disproportional relates to comparative statistics between athletes and sports enthusiasts in the United States versus former Soviet Union. The part of the world where I spent first 20 years of my career as a rehabilitator. Being a high-ranking competitive athlete myself and working with Olympic teams, I was well familiar with such statistics. The staggering U.S. sports-related injury statistic had, however, a very simple explanation once I started observing vigorous workout routines in sports clubs and athletic organization. In their uh, prevent warm-up routine, the vast majority of athletes and gym enthusiasts only joked a little, stretching for 10 or 15 minutes and considered that these activities prepare them for vigorous exercise and competitive sports activities. Not often did I see any hint of must-do neuromuscular eradication and post relaxation techniques incorporating in warm-up routines. The improper and incomplete warm-up doesn't prepare body to the possible excessive loads that muscles and joint components might sustain during vigorous exercise and athletic activities. In most cases, sooner or later, it leads to strain sprain type injury and various other pathologies of muscles and or joints. In my opinion, improper warm-up eventually produced the devastating sports injuries statistics. On my DVD number 7, I propose a proper prevent warm-up that will allow an athlete and or sport enthusiast to prepare their muscles and joint components for extensive physical loads at the time of athletic competitions and vigorous exercise. The proper warm-up is a compound procedure including neuromuscular education through post asymmetric relaxation and a set of special exercises that are as much physical as they are mental. In addition, this sequence will be an absolutely must for athletes who sustain an injury before and now are recovering from such injury. If you would like to purchase this DVD, please click the link on the right of this video under Boris's picture.